day 24 of Vlogmas. So I am in my scruffs today. I'm not wearing anything me made. I've put my gym kit on. Today, the house is a hive of activity. We have got, <laughs> we've made, we've made a Google Docs um, page of a to-do list of everything that we need to do today. Of different budget needs preparing, the hoovering, and all sorts of different things. Um, it's a huge long list, and um, everybody's just sort of partaking in that and, and doing that. So we're going to be cracking on with that today. But first of all, I'll just show you. We have got all the bits and pieces to make the crackers. Ellen is helping me. Aren't you, Ellen? Yes. So we are going to start to try and make the crackers up. Sorry, John, I've got you in your jimmy jams behind there. <laughs> um, so we are going to get on. Oh, they are me made pajamas. That's right. See, I knew, I knew I caught you for a reason. <laughs> Bless him. He's in there busy doing the dishes. <laughs> right. So we're going to crack on and um, try and do these crackers. Right. Okay. So what have we got? We have got. Oh, John's disappearing. We've got the actual templates for the crackers. We've got some paper hats. Oh, we're going to need scissors to cut up the the jokes. Don't look at the jokes though, because you don't want to spoil the big reveal for the for the day. We've got some ribbons. So we'll put the silver ribbon on the blue. Some we'll rings. Put the blue on the silver. Yeah, we've got some really rubbish rings. <laughs> some little hair bands, which would be quite funny if um, my my dad or John gets those. We've got some candy canes. We've got some giant paper clips, and we're putting a scratch card in every single one as well. So I think that's enough, isn't and it? Crown. Oh, and a crown. Yes, paper paper hats. So we're gonna crack on and do those. Oh, and sorry, I forgot. We've also got the snaps as well. So we're gonna need some sellotape tape actually as well to put these in. So yeah, let's just. Okay, so this was actually a lot harder. What did you think, girls? Was it? It was a bit fiddly. It was a bit fiddly, wasn't it? But we made. Oh, I'm sorry, Lossie's off again. We've made some blue ones with silver ribbons, some silver ones. I think they look quite nice, and they go. Oh, sorry, we had, a, we, had a, we had a phone landslide. <laughs> Katie threw a cracker at the the thing, and it knocked everything over. So I think we're all done. They're looking looking all right, actually. I can't pick them all up in one go. They, yeah, they look, <laughs> they can't pick them all up, but they do look quite nice and I think they've, they've got quite nice colour. Oh, Lossie's having cuddles. So now, what's on the agenda now? We've done lots of tidying. Gingerbread. Oh, you're going to do a gingerbread house? Yeah. We'll share about that in a bit. And um, I'm going to cook the gammon ready for tomorrow. I think I'm going to do it just plain. I don't want to cook it with any flavourings or anything in it. And then there's going to be lots of, lots of veg prep. So I'll share a little bit of that not the veg prep, um, but um, I'll also open my advent calendars and then I will come back to you for one last final thing before we round up the whole of Christmas Vlogmas. So I'm going to do the unwrapping of my advent calendars. So I've got one left, which is a physical present who from Andrew from Beyond the Pink Door, but it's got the number 25 on it. So I'm not going to open this, unfortunately, in front of you. I've taken it out of my advent calendar box and I'm going to put this um, down by the tree so that I can open it tomorrow, which is very exciting. And I'm sure after Christmas, when I do another vlog, I will share with you whatever it was that was in there. But I, I, what I will say is I've really enjoyed opening Andrea's Beyond the Pink Door advent calendar. I've really liked the gifts that are in there. And obviously as an added bonus, we've had lots of tutorials and little virtual bits and pieces as well, like the jigsaw puzzle and things like that. So it's been really lovely to do that. And on top of that, I have then really enjoyed 
really, really enjoyed opening Karen's um, from so little time. It's been lovely to do this exchange with each other. And um, I think we've definitely agreed that we're going to do it for next year as well. We might do something a little bit different next year. We might end up um, maybe having a theme. We were talking about it the other the other night about possibly, you know, making sure there's a certain amount which is sewing, certain amount that is maybe, maybe handmade, something, you know, along those lines. We'll see. Anyway, um, shall I open up today's advent calendar? Right, so today's feels quite weighty, I will say. Number 20. And I want to say it's smelly, but again, I think it could be that it's got something from the uh, those bath bombs. I'm not really sure, but it is quite heavy. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I don't think I can guess today. So let's have a little look. It's definitely round as well. I, it's ball shape, I want to say. something fluffy in there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I know what this is. And this is, this is brilliant because I'm pretty sure that Karen has opened her already because I haven't watched her video yet, but I did see that it came up on YouTube and I thought, oh, I'll watch that in a little bit. So I've seen that she's opened her last day. She has made a crocheted Snowman? You're saying that's a snowman? I think that's a snowman. That is super, super cute. But this snowman is hiding. <laughs> a Terry's chocolate orange. And I've given her a Terry's chocolate orange for Christmas as well. And I think that's what she's opened today. Now, what I will say, I have not had very much time and I've been really bad and I have not managed to make anything for any of her presents this year and I'm really gutted about that because the joy in opening some of these handmade things that Karen has made has been absolutely fantastic oh I flipping love that that is so so lovely I don't know what to call that I want to call it something I don't know I'll ask the girls what they think or maybe you can think of something but it's got to be something to go with an S I was going to say Sunny the snowman but that doesn't make any sense at all does it Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Karen. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Ooh, it has been a manic day. We have been doing so much. We have prepped all the veg. Ellen, what have we done? Remind us, what have we done? Oops. Uh, I'm not very good at talking when I'm concentrating. But, oh. <laughs> um, we have chopped all the veg. Chopped You've the veg. cooked a gammon. Yeah. I've uh, made a gingerbread house. Ellen's actually doing the gingerbread as we, we speak. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Amy yes, and I did. So she's decorating it currently. Which we were very glad it actually worked because we didn't think it would. And there was lots and lots of leftover gingerbread. So we've made lots of gingerbread shapes, stars, etc., etc. John is sat over in the corner. You're just chilling out, aren't you? I've worked you hard today, haven't I, John? Uh, <laughs> He's had enough. He now wants a Christmas sherry. So it is only half past three in the afternoon. It's really dark. It feels a lot later than that. We're all absolutely exhausted. So we're going to finish off getting this gingerbread um, decorated. I'll help Ellen. I'll try and save uploading this video until I've got a picture of the gingerbread house because I think it'd be nice to share with you. Um, <clears throat> but yes, we've done lots and lots. I've made a chocolate pudding. My mum's bringing over a couple of dessert so I only needed to make one dessert really probably didn't even need to make that if I'm honest um and I've, but, it's Christmas. but it's Christmas so yeah got to eat excessively yeah. haven't you um so yeah so lots and lots and lots of cooking done I feel like I haven't really shared very much with you like I say I will share this gingerbread house with you once it's done but I am going to sign off now and I just wanted to say thank you so so much to everybody all the absolutely fantastic support throughout vlogmas i'm i'm so chuffed and just so touched that everybody tuned in and signed in and and it makes doing this all the worthwhile so thank you so much now i know this is a bit strange <clears throat> and i did ask my girls what they thought of this and there was a mixed bag of response 
So if you don't want to listen to this, that's absolutely fine. You can sign off here and not listen to any more. <laughs> but I wanted to share with you a Christmas tradition that we do every year. Now, we started this oof, 20 odd years ago when the girls were really, really little. And we do various, we do lots of things every year. But one of the things that we always do is we always read the same story before we go to bed on Christmas Eve. And it sounds really babyish, especially as the fact that the girls are now in their 20s. <laughs> um, but I wanted to share that tradition with you. So I'm gonna leave you with um, my fireplace burning away next to our Christmas tree. And I'm gonna read to you the night before Christmas. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a fantastic Christmas and a very happy 2024. Bye. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering I should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet and Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf and I laugh when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, 
Aero drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night.